Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about a farm that I've been doing for years and that I think is extremely easy and something that can reward you with a lot of gold. So I'm sure that most of you are already aware of part of this farm but my goal with today's video is trying to explain how you can make it as efficient as possible and also for people who are not aware just to explain what is this farm. So this farm is taking place in the Blasted Lands in the Eastern Kingdoms. And all you want to do with this farm is killing the rares that are here and also opening the different chests. So really this is extremely easy. In order to do the farm, I would recommend you to get two add-ons that I've covered recently in some videos. The first one is Rare Scanner. As you can see, it will allow you to see where are exactly all the different rares. And the second one is Gavermate that will allow you to see where are the different chests. So for this farm, you can normally do it on any characters. And this is something that you can really do easily. Uh, all you want to do is come here at the top of the Blazed Lands and talk to Zidormi in order to make sure that you're in the past time. So just check if there are any orcs, uh, like from Iron Orcs in the area. And if they are up, it means that you're in the present time and you don't want to be in the present time. So just make sure that you're in the past time and normally like that you will be able to see all the different rares. So really this farm in general should take you maybe 10 minutes. All you want to do is go from like the first rare near next to Zidormi and then just go all around the map, try to get all the different chests. Some of them are inside like caves. Also like some rares are inside caves as you can see from uh, the video right now. And all you want to do is really circle around, try to kill all the different rares, take all the chests, and really normally like that, you should be able to get quite a lot of items. So there are like uh, quite a lot of rares on this map. So we really try to circle all around to find all these different um, like rares. And again, the chests are extremely good. So even if sometimes you need to go into the different caves and everything, I think it's definitely worth it. Keep in mind that as soon as you get more than two chests, you won't be able to get the third one because usually there is a cap uh, for each map like of two chests. So if you get one or two after that, don't uh, waste time trying to search for more chests. And one thing that you can do also when you're done with the Blasted Lands is to go uh, in the Swamps of Sorrows. So here you also have like two more chests that you can get directly there. And also you have like over chests uh, in the map. So usually I just go then in the Swamps of Sorrows and do all these over chests. And for the people who are really motivated, you can also go uh, to like the Burning Steps. You also have like more chests here, but then it requires you more time. So really normally if you just do the blasted lens and the swamp of sorrows you will maybe spend like 10 to 15 minutes maximum one thing that is important in my opinion is to make sure that you start with warm mode on so basically first of all when you have warm mode on it will generally be more easy to find all the different rares because there is less competition people do all these farms usually in warm mode off also what you want to do is as soon as you've like, you know, like finished your farm, you want to go in this town called the Drain Mode Old for uh, all players or any town that is in the map. And you want to go inside the building and then remove one road on. You can do that in any of the cities where there is like a resting area. And as soon as you've removed that, you can start the farm again. And normally all the chests and all the rares will still be there because this is like an alternate uh, version of the world. So like that, you maximize your chances of getting all these different rares and chests, and you should be able to make even more gold. So now, why are we killing all these rares and why are we opening these different chests? So there are like a couple of items that I think are extremely interesting with these different uh, rares and chests. So one thing that is really good with the rares from the Blasted Dance and only the rares from the Blasted Dance is that when you're killing them, you have a chance at getting two items. The first one is going to be this uh, imperfect Dryanetis Fragment, and the second one is the Flawless Dryanetis Spear. So these two items are quest items, and all you want to do when you get them is click on Accept the Quest, and you can come here, and then you can return the quest. This person will give you a chest, and then after that, you can give another quest again and again and again. So this is something you can do really, like, all the time. 
So with these different chests that you get from this guy, you can get a lot of items that are worth a lot of gold, especially the like chests you will get from the flawless Trinity Spear will reward you with some very good loot. So for instance, you have most of the blue BOEs from Vanyawo, and you also have like a lot of the epic BOEs. So for instance, you have this uh, rope just here, you have this eyepiece, you also have like a lot of weapons, so all these different weapons, as you can see, some of them can be sold for really a lot of gold. Uh, you also have like some blue items that can really be worth a lot of gold, such as, for instance, this sword, as you can see, really good value and sell rate. Also, this robe is one of the most uh, looked after item with this farm, the Chan Imperial's robe. And you also have other items that might not be worth a lot, like for instance, this necklace. So you have really a lot of things. Then with the silken treasure chest, you have also like all these different items can be there. Maybe not all the different epic BOEs, but some of them, such as the Enso sword, uh, such as the, the robe and things like that can be also looted from this chest. And more especially, you have the chance at getting the orb of deception. This is a toy that you can really sell for a lot of gold. And as you can see, it has a really good sell rate. So in my opinion, getting this chest is a really good, um, like added value to this farm because you can like that get this toy that can be sold for a lot of gold. And again, you can also get all these other items just by opening the chest. So with all these different items, normally you should be able to get a lot of, uh, like, you know, like transmog items and toys that you can sell on the auction house. Of course, just by killing the rares, you also have like a lot of like, green BOEs that sometimes can be worth like some gold, but most of the time it's just something you want to sell on the auction house. Two other things you can do in order to maximize the profit you will make with this farm. The first one, keep the different log boxes that you might get from the different rares you're killing because you can open them and with that you can get some really good loot as well. And after that, there are also some Torians veins all around the map, especially here there are some rich ones and with these, you can normally get some of the Arcanite crystals, and these Arcan crystals can be sold for a lot of gold on most realms. So if you have a miner with you, just try to do the farm with this character, because normally you will be able to make some extra gold just by farming these different Torian veins. So these are going to be all the different ways you can make some gold, and normally you should really be able to do all of that maybe like in 10 minutes. And again, this is something you can maybe leave one character here and just logging later on and see if the rares are up. And if they're up, you can kill a few, get these different quest items and then come here and then return all the quests. So as you can see, you really just come here, talk to this guy, he will give you the different chest. And after that, it's all good. So as you can see here, I have the two chests. I can just click on them. Very, very good item here. And then just here, a very good item as well. Not good examples, but that's fine. And yeah, like that, you should be able to make quite a lot of gold. And keep in mind, again, you can decide to sell these different quest items on the auction house directly. I already sold some of them. And really, you can sell them normally pretty easily. So that's also a good way to make some gold with this farm. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video, guys. I really hope it will help you uh, make some gold. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And of course, keep in mind that uh, most of these items are transmog items, so it will take time uh, to sell them. And also, of course, the value might vary a lot from a realm to another. So just keep that in mind. I'm just here to share some new ideas for people who want to explore new ways to make gold in World of Warcraft. And yeah, so I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you a very good uh, weekend, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.